And we begin this evening with developing news in North Carolina. A tribute for that 11-year-old girl hit and killed by a car in Currituck County. Julie Randall died last month while crossing Route 158 with her brother in front of Currituck Middle School. Officials say she dropped something in the road and went back to retrieve it, and that's when she was hit. Ten on your side's Madison Pierman was at Julie's celebration of life today. 11-year-old Julie Randall was many things, a sister, a daughter, a friend. Today, her family gathered at her school for a celebration of life, and despite their mourning, they're still pushing for change. It's one thing to stand and give a eulogy for somebody that's been around for 60, 70, 80 years, but to stand up there with 11 short years, it was tough. August 30th, Julie Randall was leaving school with her brother. After crossing the highway, she went back to grab something she dropped. That's when police tell us an impaired driver hit her with his car. She died days later at a Norfolk hospital. Every choice that you ever make, there are consequences. Julie's life was cut short because of a bad choice. That choice left Daniel DeWeese charged with second degree murder and left Julie's family with heartbreak. A feeling Rachel Lovelace said could have been prevented. With this crosswalk of crossing guard, they can stop traffic for those children. To, that's a big highway and people speed down it all the time. US 158 has five lanes. Some students, like Julie, have to cross it every day for school. Us as parents, it could have easily been one of our kids. That thought has pushed thousands of people to sign a petition asking for just that, a crosswalk. A change that comes too late for young Julie, but could be the change protecting her own classmates who loved her so much. Julie was very, she was a very kind person. No one can ever replace the person she is. The State Department of Transportation says they're aware of the crosswalk petition. They said in a statement to 10 on your side, they've launched an investigation into the crash to determine if there is an opportunity to improve safety for all road users. 10 on your side is going to stay on Julie's story and continue to share any updates in that investigation. For ways to help Julie's family, we have them listed on wavy.com. In the newsroom, Madison Pierman, 10 on your side.